Another great assetware function is the printing of maps, but now you can include the school logo, a legend, and also key room functions if you want to show that. So let's have a look. I've come into assetware where I've already selected the layer manager. And then when I scroll down and I can choose imagery, I've now selected the aerial photo for 2025. And when I scroll back up, I can also turn on room functions, which gives me the color coding of the rooms. And then I can start to see the key teaching workspaces. So now when I scroll down into the services area, I can start turning on some of these services like water, because this is a map I want to print from a contractor coming on site. And I want to show them where the water, the communication cables are also located and also the electrical cables. So once I've made all of these selections in my ad hoc map that I'm creating on the fly, then all I have to do is select print. When I click on print, if I move the layer manager out of the way, now I have the option to determine the layout, whether it's A4, A3, A2, the format, the scale, I can give it a title, so I'm going to give this school view one, add in any additional comments, but then I can also add in whether I want the legend, the logo, I want to show all the room functions, and schools have the flexibility to turn all that inf information on or off. Select print, and it goes away and prints it, and I select it in PDF format, and here is my final map showing my legend and showing my room functions here so print it download it in pdf email that straight off to the contractor alternatively you might want to make a school map for new parents coming on site wanting to find let's say the auditorium or the hall making it really really easy to make these maps on the fly ad hoc